Welcome everyone, my name is Tommy T 9 and welcome back to another F1 2019 career mode video. It's the third and final part of the F2 feeder series element of this career, and yes, it's the last race of the season. Myself and Devon Butler are tied on points, but it all comes down to who so can come out on in top in Yas Marina. Every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship, and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of excitement for the fans no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. So here it goes, it's all down to this race. Either myself or Devon Butler can win the championship, but whoever gets the most points in this race is going to be the overall F2 champion and put them in a great position to signing up to F1 in the next season. So we're starting off in 8th position, we can see Butler ahead of us. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And of course, subscribe for daily videos on all of your favourite games, top 10s and exclusive gameplays of brand new games yet to release, along with plenty more F1 2019 content. Now after the first lap we'd got in the first position leading the race and in a very strong position to actually go on and win it. Now the AI is set to 50% in this career. Maybe it's a bit low for the standard of my driving but we did then lead all the way round. There was no point showing the rest of the race because it was pretty much a procession and there's so much more to show you as this F2 feeder series comes to its conclusion and I am the driver's world champion for F2. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Carlin today. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. He had it all. 
the rival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head-to-head -head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. They fought so hard and had the incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone did a better job today. So then, Carlin have done it. This result seals their victory, and they are team champions at last. There is also a strong showing from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. So driver of the day, I end up winning the championship by nine points from Devon Butler. Lucas comes home third, so that means Carlin top the point standing for the team and constructors championship so solid performance all round first of all congratulations you must be thrilled wow you're the driver's champion how does it feel i mean claire how do you think it feels so that was a thrilling end to the season how was the race for you not gonna lie it was pretty easy. But I'll get my sportsmanship increased well, with that answer. Rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? I damn well hope so. But I obviously can't say that either. But my showmanship has just increased as I'm one of the best time. in the world. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it'll ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Yeah, yeah. We know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. That's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to effort. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. So you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. <laughs> Things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao. So, with this big win, you're gonna be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. So two months later, you're then heading to your agent's office, where you're going to look through all of the offers from F1 and choose who you're going to drive for. So as it says here, it's one of the most important decisions of your F1 career. Highly ranked teams like Ferrari or Mercedes have faster, more competitive cars, but will expect their drivers to be achieving podium finishes. And of course, the lower ranked teams have less competitive cars, but the expectations are lower. You get a reputation bonus for signing up depending on the team that you go for. And yes, when you walk into the office, this is what you're going to expect to see when you play through your F1 2019 career. Ah, oh, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. 
Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. So when given the contracts to review, you can actually see that I've got every single team offering me a seat. But there's a few different elements to them. There's expectations from the team, and also an attitude preference. So for instance, it's showmanship with Red Bull. Uh, it was sportsmanship with Mercedes, and I believe it was showmanship with Ferrari. So there is a, there's a choice to be made here. Push for podiums with Racing Point. Control the midfield with Toro Rosso. So it does give you the complete choice and option for as to who you choose. And then when you go through, you can see the contract, the value to the team. I'm going to choose Mercedes. And also, there is a point to note here that both Lucas and Devon are also going to be moving into Formula 1. So they will take seats of drivers that are currently in the championship of F1 2019. But it does mean you'll be able to continue your rivalry with all of them. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. No, oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. As you're well aware, Mercedes have been mighty over the past few years, so there's going to be a lot expected of you right from the start. So this brings the feeder series to its conclusion. A huge thank you to every single one of you for watching all of these F1 videos. More to come, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see. Subscribe for daily videos by clicking the logo in the middle of the screen. And of course, yes, every single one of you that does that and then turns on the notifications becomes a T999 legend. Until the next time, I'll speak to you again very soon.